Okay, so let us pray. Let's pray. Loving God, I would like to praise you and I would like to thank you for the gift of life. And thank you, dear Lord, for the Sabbath day for us to rest and to worship you. And as we start our AWA program, we would like to invite the Holy um, Presence to be with us. Um, please bless the participants and um, the listeners as well. Forgive us if you fail be in Christ's name. Amen. Ayan. So, hi everyone and happy, happy Sabbath. So, uh, medyo nagkaroon actually ng um, changes sa program natin. And um, after po ng uh, nitong roll call or nitong discussion is we will proceed sa UBS na ililid naman tayo ni um, Brother AJ. So, ayan. So, before we start, we um, I would like to introduce you first kay um kay Miss Eden Reliente so yung makakasama ko ngayon so si Eden um classmate ko siya sa AUP so she's also a psychology major like me and she's currently taking law so after niya mag AUP naglo maglo, naglolo naman siya and also isa rin siyang content creator or vlogger so guys subscribe to her channel Char. So, oh, yeah, na. dear, welcome ka dito. No, <laughs> welcome ka dito sa Mutiluka District. So, ayon. So, moving on, nag-invite din ako ng tatlong participants para sa discussion natin this afternoon, which are si Kia, si Meg, and si Vea. So, hello guys. Kung nandiyan na kayo, say hi. Hi. Ayan. No so this afternoon we will tackle more about um our main theme is about stress and anxiety. So ano nga ba ang stress? So actually ang stress meron niyang dalawang types which is the um distress and you stress. So um lagi naman natin na encounter yung distress yun ay yung yung ano yung pag nafi-feel natin na unmotivated tayo na alam niyo yung ang sakit-sakit sa ulo, yung pag may isang circumstances na nakastress talaga na naaligaga ka, yun yung usually distress. Um, while the you stress is ito yung positive na type ng stress. Ito yung kapag nafi-feel mo, parang motivated ka na parang challenging. For example, you stress yung hiking, di ba? Like na si stress ka pero hindi siya masama para sa iyo kasi mas nag-excite na excite ka may adrenaline and all so um actually yung type ng stress na yon is good for us so moving on ano naman ang anxiety dear okay so thank you for that um, Hannah, dear, is on anxiety naman, these are the things that we are worried about um, uh, with the future. So, kung yung depression ay from the past that we had experienced, yung anxiety naman ay um, we are worried about what will happen, about the uncertainties. So, yun. So, back to you, Hannah. Any additional? Ano man na. Thank you, dear. So, Ngayon, ang gagawin natin is uh, mag interview tayo. I-interview natin yung tatlong participant natin. So, mag-start tayo kay Ate Kia. So, ang question natin is, um, itanong, um, ang ating mga participants ba ay nakaranas na ng stress? And if so, how did you overcome it? Ate Kia? Kakapasok niya lang po ata. Naka-mute ka po. Mag-start. Sorry, sorry. Mag-start na lang muna tayo kay Vea. Ayan. So, sa akin, syempre naka-experience naka na ako ng stress. Especially ngayon na nasa clinical division na ako. Kasi almost every day may quiz, tapos every week may exams, tapos requirements pa, tapos online class pa. Nakaka-overwhelm talaga siya. 
Pero what I do to counter that is to um, have time management. Kasi I have this planner where I have all my schedules, my deadlines, para lahat talaga ng task ko, magawa ko on time. And may fulfillment din kasi siya pag natapos mo lahat ng nakalagay doon. Tapos, um, it can be a motivating factor to keep going. Ayun po. Okay, thank you. So, where ang coping mo or ang way mo to uh, to um, battle with stress is to have time management, tama ba? Yes po. And Hannah, okay. dear, okay. nakatulog How about talaga. Kuya Megs? Ang? Yes, continue, continue. Continue, dear. <laughs> okay, so, something... Um, <laughs> I appreciate yung kanyang ways kasi planner talaga ay nakakatulong to reduce the stress. Kasi we have to organize our um, different agendas and um, activities per day. So, sino ulit yung ating next na tatanungin, dear? Si Kuya Megs po. Yeah. So, hello po. Narinig po ba ako ng, ng malinaw? Hello? Clear po ba yung audio ko po? Narinig po? <laughs> Any response? Yes, yes. We can hear you. Okay. Okay. Just go. Ano Yan. So, the question is, if I, if ever, um, have I ever experienced stress? Of course. <laughs> I guess lahat naman po tayo nakaka-experience niyan. Maybe iba ba lang levels or iba ba um, let's say cases, but we all face ano uh, stress for that, and that's for it. Siguro ang akin po is yung ano iba um yung mga usual na encounter ko. Dalawang type siya. I, I should say parang yung isa yung stress na I mean um uh, siguro we're talking here more of dun sa mga negative po ano o yung let's say yung um stresses that would cause ano um di naman siya damage or let's say um yeah, somehow magiging ano, uh, hindi siya healthy, in short. Siguro dalawa po yung cases hmm. sa akin kasi usually yung ano, yung parang aftermath. Let's say may nangyari and then, eh yun yung result. So na-stress ka. And then yung isa naman, stress dun sa situation. Nangyayari yung situation and that's stress ka during that time. So about overcoming, syempre ano, um, we have different ways sa pag-cope up. Pero ako po siguro, uh, and through time, and I believe, uh, I, I am still yet to, ano, to improve. And that is yung, yun nga, yung dapat composed ka pa rin in all situations. And again, um, this is not something na, uh, ito, uh, I would like to emphasize that this is not something that it is on your own. Kasi talaga tayo internally, if we are to rely on our own strength, di ba? ma talagang hindi natin makakayanan mm. i tell you so uh, uh, lalo po sa akin siguro per, may ano na lang sa personal ko pong experience i whenever lalo po nung bata ako, whenever ay ano ay hirapan ako mag-cope up sa stress noon kasi i take it to myself kasi sobrang ano like wala akong pinagsasabihan walang ano but it's a different thing when ano when may katulong tayo syempre in nga we can have our friends we can have our family by our side Pero the most important thing, um, especially nga as Christians, is yung Panginoon talaga. I mean, that, that would make the difference, the big difference. Kasi before, yun nga, I take it to myself, so not even ano, praying about it. No, parang, eh, ano ko lang, nagko-cope na lang talaga ako. Pero mahirap. Hindi sa lahat ng pagkataon kaya mong makapag-adjust or, or let's say to just, um, you know, um, parang mag ano ka na lang recover on your own. So minsan din nga uh, we are pushed to beyond dun sa limit na meron tayo. Kaya ayun very important talaga is yung meron tayong maasahan and of course yun nga, ang Panginoon maasahan talaga natin at all times. Inam po. Okay. So mag- based sa experience ni Kuya Meg, so maganda talaga na uh, meron tayong mapagsheshiran, no? meron tayong mapagsasabihan na hindi lang natin binabattle up lahat ng 
uh, worries, lahat ng anxieties, lahat ng stress sa sarili natin. Kasi I know na once na mapuno tayo, magbe-break na lang tayo and mas damaging yon para sa isang tao. So, healthy din talaga na may may mapagsasabihan ka na kahit friend or in or most importantly kay God, 'di ba? Um na 'di ba nga sabi sa sabi sa Bible na cast all our burdens upon him kasi in that way he will um he will give us peace. Any addition, dear? Okay, so I would like to agree with that kasi um, uh, we cannot handle, just like what Kiyama said a while ago, uh, we cannot handle it alone. So we have to pa- make Jesus uh, the partner of um, whatever we do for us to not to be stressed. And let's always remember, mga kapatid, no, that uh, uh, we should uh, do things with Jesus and not on our own. So, Hannah? Thank you. So, um, ngayon naman, pakinggan natin si Ate Kia. Andiyan na ba si Ate Kia? Nakapasok niya lang ulit. So, pawala-wala si Ate Kia. Ate Kia, andiyan na po ba? Ready na po. Hello? Ayan. Hello, naririnig niyo ako. Sorry, nawawala yung third at ang bagal eh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay Anong question na? na yung same, same pa rin sa stress? Yung first, yung first. Yes. Yes. Hindi na ako magbubukas ng kam kasi baka mawala ulit ako. Ano? So yun sa akin naman, since work from home nga, di ba parang ano, parang uh, hindi mo alam kung kailan ka magsa-stop ng working kasi nga since nasa bahay ka lang at saka mas, mas ano ka ng mga Uh, uh, seniors ng mga ng manager mo, ganun, mas iniisip nila na mas marami kang time na gawin yung work mo kasi nga nasa bahay ka lang. So, mas kapag ka ganun, ang ginagawa ko is gumagawa ko ng to-do list ko na yun yung gagawin ko ngayong araw, ganun, lalo na kapag mga may month-end submission kami. At saka, at saka kapag tinimingan ko na yung sarili ko na kapag 7pm, ano na ako, hindi na ako mag-work. Kasi, kasi di ba kapag sa office hanggang 5 p.m. lang naman talaga yung office hours. Pero since nasa bahay, syempre hindi ko naman na ano na yung lahat ng oras ko nasa bahay nag-work ako. So ina-adjustan ko lang ng hanggang mga 7 p.m. pag afternoon, ano na ako mag uh, hindi na ako kailangan matapos ko na yung mga gagawin ko tsaka dapat ma submit ko na yung mga dapat ko ma-submit ganun. So yun yung parang coping na ginagawa ko kapag ka nasa stress ganon Actually, actually nakaka-relate ako kay Ate Kia kasi nung go work ako actually, uh, inaabot ako ng yung OT ko, inaabot ako ng around 10 PM. Kasi uh, pag work from home ka, parang nawawala na yung boundary between work and home. Alam mo yon parang no kasi may I mean pag nasa bahay ka isipin ng mga uh, um nakatataas sa iyo na nasa bahay ka naman relax ka naman hindi ka naman babiyahin na so alam mo yun, lubus-lubusin mo na parang ganun so parang dahil doon parang umaabot ako ng 10 pm 11 uh, oo oh, yeah pinakamatagal ko is 10:30 Yeah, dahil sa work, lalo na pag month end yon tumatagal ako ng 10.30. And very, very stressful talaga siya. Be- very consuming, nakakapagod and all. And um, parang ang pahinga ko na lang nun, parang iniisip ko, sige malapit na rin naman mag-weekend, makakapagpahinga na rin ako, sige ibubuhos ko na lang lahat ngayon. Parang ganun yun na feel ko nun. Dear ikaw, Okay, so same with uh, Bea, yung first beer na ating in-interview. Yes, same Bea. Bea. Uh, same sila ni Ate Kia, no? na they are using uh, to-do list, uh, planner. Um, it's very important 
nga ulit to strategize for us uh, na uh, para na hindi um maging bundle at uh, para ba? Uh, yung atong para, para na hindi, uh, hindi uh, para. yung ating uh, mga gagawin. So it's very important to strategize. Okay, so thank you for that, Hannah. Okay. So, in my opinion, as a psychology major graduate, so parang every one of us naman ex- is, is experiencing stress, di ba? From day to day life natin, lagi talaga nating may encounter yan and hindi naman maiiwasan yon. Pero for me, uh, one way to deal with this is to develop a coping strategy that fits you. So, one of um, the most coping uh, mechanism that I use is yung being rational. So, um, kunyari, i-utak muna natin bago emosyon, parang ganun. Kunyari, um, i-assess muna natin yung situation kung nasaan tayo. Uh, kung may magagawa ba tayo about it or kung wala naman, why don't we try to adapt? Kunyari, for example, COVID or this pandemic, Diba you can't do anything about it naman kasi wala rin naman tayong um wala naman tayong uh, vaccine pa. So so like anong point ng pagiging stress mo kung alam mo yun, an- anong point ng pagiging stress mo kung wala ka naman magagawa about it. So ano pwede nating gawin? So maybe we should try to adapt more. Um, in this situation. So, paano yon? Paano ako makakapag-adapt and all? Una-una is, um, malay mo, um, i-rationalize muna natin yung bagay, yung isang bagay. Kunyari, yun nga, COVID. So, paano ako makakapag-adapt? Siguro, first, the best thing to do is to uh, follow protocols. Diba? Um, wear your mask or keep seven, uh, six feet distance from each other. Tapos avoid mo na social gathering. So, in that way, you adapt the situation and it will lessen the stress. Kasi nga, wala din naman talaga tayong magagawa about it. So, paano naman yung mga may magagawa ka about it? Yung mga may makokontrol ka? So, good thing, good point yung sinabi ni Vea and ni Ati Kia na we manage our stress. So, parang we avoid those stressors, we avoid the triggers. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Maganda yung, uh, meron nga tayong to-do list para um, para sa ganun, alam mo yung, alam mo kung hanggang saan ka lang, alam mo, oh, hanggang dito lang ako, dapat pag nagawa ko na to, stop na, hindi na ako magpapakastress sa sarili ko, hindi ko makakontrol yun, so let it be. So, parang ganun, in that way, uh, makahandle natin yung sarili natin, and more of I mean, uh, magiging stable tayo kasi iisipin natin, ah, ito, ito dapat. That more on focus tayo sa goal natin. Ganon. Um, hinga naman natin yung opinion ni Kuya AJ about this. Hello po, Kuya AJ. And dyan po ba si Pastor AJ? Available po siya. Vea? Hello, hello. Nagko-connecting. Sorry. Ayan. Again, again, what's the question? So, in biblical perspective, so how do we handle stress? Um, uh, For me, uh, kanina, nang nagbabasa rin ako, I read what's written in Romans 5 verses 3 and 4. Sabi dito, stress that cannot be avoided may help us grow in faith and in character. Kasi, there are these stresses talaga na you're, you cannot avoid. No? 
hindi lahat ng bagay kaya mong kontrolin. You need to consider things na there are things that you cannot uh, handle or control. And uh, during those times na hindi mo makontrol, let it be instilled in your mind na there is God who controls everything. Na yung bagay na hindi mo kaya kontrolin, He alone can control it. No? And also on secondly in Isaiah verses verse 26 verse uh, chapter 26 verse 3 Na during stressful times perfect peace comes when we keep our mind on the Lord Sabi dito sa Isaiah you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you So lagi lang natin tatandaan na when things go wrong when things aren't going according to our plans God is there. No? Huwag natin kalimutan that there is God. Huwag natin kalimutan na He's above us. He controls us. He controls every scenario. And He can actually put those bad things, no? those bad scenarios, those bad circumstances into something that would refine, develop, and at the same time, uh, uh, let us learn on those kinds of uh, uh, events or scenarios in our lives. Uh, finally, uh, gusto ko tong basahin yung sa The Ministry of Healing page. Nakamute ka ko AJ. Hello, hello. Okay na? Ayan. Okay, okay. na. Uh, finally, I would like to read uh, in uh, what is written in the Ministry of Healing, page 481. Sabi dito, taking one day at a time. A most important principle. The faithful discharge of today's duties is the best preparation for tomorrow's trials. Do not gather together all tomorrow's liabilities and cares and add them to the burden of today. Kasi minsan lagi tayong ano eh, advance mag-isip. No? Gusto natin tapusin agad in one sitting. Gusto natin gawin natin lahat sa ayon ng mga kaya natin as long as kaya natin. But let us keep in mind na hindi lahat ng bagay kaya natin, hindi lahat ng bagay alam natin, and hindi lahat ng bagay we are in control. And all of those, pag nalaman mo lahat yun na hindi mo lahat kaya, makikita mo na, uy, I need someone who's actually knowledgeable, who's actually omnipotent, who's actually omniscient. And here comes, makikita mo yung from pride to humility. Nagkaroon ng change sa'yo. No, hindi lang yung scenario, but God made use of that scenario to change you. Ayan. That's it. Thank you. Ayan. Thank you so much. Um, sa inyo mga kapatid, baka may iba pa kayong input about stress or any advice. Feel, feel free to talk. Meron po bang um, additional from the audience? Ano lang? Okay, so, ayan. Sige, go po. Ah, ano lang, ah, siguro pag tamang ano lang, tamang tulog lang, tamang kain, tamang pahinga, tamang ligaw. <laughs> Relax lang. Okay. <laughs> so chill lang ganon kung baga. Any other input pa? Dear, how about you? Any other input? Okay, so uh, let's not. Yun lang din. I would like to add to to the uh, information a while ago, no? um, let's not bring the burden of yesterday in today. Um, I don't know. Today's work or today's today. 
kasi it's very hard to pag yun na nga, pile up na everything. So, yun, it's very important to cast all the burdens to you. Okay, so, um, dear, do you want to proceed to with the next question? Or... Yes, let's proceed na to your next okay, question. So, second question. Okay, so, unahin natin yung si Kuya Meg. Okay lang ba, Kuya Meg? Okay, so, what if... Uh, Di agad na resolve yung stress, uh, and you become anxious. What do you usually do? Kuya. Ayan. So thank you for that question. Talagang meron talaga mga stresses na let's say parang ano, lingering or parang we cannot just snap out of it. Kasi minsan ane eh, um let's say incurring siya or let's say ah uh, minga talaga siya sabi kanina ni um brother AJ, na mayroong mga bagay na wala sa control natin. You know, and even ha, na sinabi niya. And minsan, di ba, syempre pag wala sa control natin, even if we want it to put to, ano, I mean, na matikil na lahat, but since we are not in control, all you have to do is nga to cope up. Siguro yun nga, no, if talagang mayroong mga stresses na tumatagal, um, I guess yun nga, pretty much, na pag-usapan natin dito, na Again, always keep in mind, you know, sabi nga, di ba, sa Romans chapter 8, verse 28, di ba, that all things work together for the good of those who love Him. So, una talaga, number one is to love the Lord above anything else. Tapos, who are called according to His purpose. So, may purpose lagi, yung mga bagay na yun. Yung nga, talaga nang sinabi kanina niya, no? I would like to um, emphasize yung sinabi kanina ni Brother EJ na, merong mga bagay that the Lord allows. Hindi dahil ginawa niya yun. Again, all good things comes from the Lord. Pero may mga bagay na hinahayaan niya mangyari, even the bad things, for us nga, to be ano, to be refined, yung character natin to be refined. So napaganda no? yung, yung trials na yun, yung challenges and stresses that is brought about those trials or challenges na nakaharap natin. And ayun nga, parang laging ano talaga. Um, I think isa rin sa mga na magandang ano, uh, magandang mindset is that, yun nga, knowing that these things are temporary. Maaaring, yun nga, may pinagdadaanan ka, let's say, uh, yeah, mga certain kind of stress or distress na meron ka ngayon. But these are all temporary. Kaya nga, yung sinabi, I, I think I would like to share with you yung sinabi nga sa Um, I know this is somehow how familiar sa inyo. Second Corinthians. Um, Second Corinthians chapter four. Yes, ayan. Sabi nga. For, um, Second Corinthians chapter four, and um, verse sixteen. Magstart tayo. Sabi nga to, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Verse 17, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. And yeah, so verse 18, While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. And uh, for the things that are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So yun, yun yung uh, I believe ito yung especially sa during sa times na ngayon na parang hirap, di ba? Hirap makita ng something na positive kasi puro negative yung makikita mo sa ano sa nangyayari ngayon. Every everywhere kahit saan pumunta. But if we are to keep our minds, you know, on the Lord and the 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 things that he has been doing and yun pa yung yung um, eternal glory na naghihintay to those who will have patience, to those who will not give up, to those who will run unto Him. Pag talagang hindi mo na talaga kaya, yun nga, napakaganda na sinasabi kanina ni, ng ating mga kapatid na pag hindi mo na kaya, dun mo malalaman talaga na sa sarili mo, walang wala ka na, and uh, parang yun nga, pag hindi, hindi ka na makalis na situation, and that's when you will call unto Him. And yun nga, yung humility, And then yung total reliance or dependence sa Panginoon nag-start talaga. So, ayun, ano lang, lagi ka lang mag, ano, um, wag tayong, ano, mawawala ng pag-asa. Kahit na parang wala ka makita na pag-asa, just call unto Him. 
And yun nga, I tell you, the Lord will help you indeed. He's faithful. Okay, so thank you po. Um, we have different uh, kind of coping styles, right? And uh, there are things that we cannot control, but again, we have to uh, to do the things that we can control um, as of the moment. Okay, so Hannah, do you have something to say? Hannah, dear? Ayan. So, ang ganda nung nasabi ni... Hello, hello, ayan. So, ang ganda nung nasabi ni uh, Kuya Megs na total um, dependence kay God talaga ang um, maganda pa rin talagang um, treatment for anxiety is to dep- to just depend on Him. Kasi ba diba, um, actually, uh, ang asura, ang one um, treatment for me personally is assurance. So, kapag anxious ako sa isang bagay, gusto ko ng assurance na, alam mo yun, na kunyari, takot ako sa ganitong bagay, gusto ko ma-assure na safe ako. So, ganon. So, parang once na I have that assurance, nagiging kalmado or ganon. So, parang um, it helps. So, paano ba natin makukuha yung assurance, di ba? We will always go back to the Bible. Kasi, di ba, maraming, um, maraming promises si God sa atin sa Bible. And knowing those promises, it, sometime, it somehow gives us assurance. So, once we're assured na ganito, na He promised me this, di ba, parang it calms you na rin. So, yun yung, yun na yung... Dear? Yes, okay, so let's listen to Ate Kia. Uh, with the question, uh, yung question natin a while ago, what if the agad na resolve yung stress and you become anxious, what do you usually do? Ate Kia. Hello. Ayun. Kasi parang, uh, kasi parang yung stress, tsaka yung anxiety, parang nasa ano lang din naman yun eh, nasa mind lang natin. So, parang kapag ka, katulad ng sinabi din kanina, na kapag inisip natin na may mga bagay na hindi natin kayang makontrol o hindi na natin kayang gawa ng paraan, dapat, una siguro, dapat i-accept natin yung fact na uh, hindi natin yun makokontrol at wala tayong magagawa about doon. Parang kapag ka ganun kasi, yun nga, sinasabi din na magkakaroon ng humility na malalaman mo sa sarili mo na hindi mo pala kaya yung lahat ng bagay and then dun mo uh, dun mo ma-realize na kailangan mong isik si God at saka uh, total dependence nga sa Panginoon yun yung dapat nating ano yun yung dapat nating uh, i-practice i- uh, gawin kasi uh, may mga bagay na may mga bagay na kahit na i-push mo nang i-push hindi mo talaga magagawa kaya wag mo na dapat siyang parang pag-aksayahan ng oras na na piilitin yung sarili mo o kaya pag-aksayahan ng oras para isipin ng isipin yun. Kasi it could lead nga sa stress, sa anxiety. Tapos pwede pa siyang lumala na uh, lumala pa ng mga uh, problema sa mental health. Ganon. So kailangan uh, maging ano lang, maging dependent sa Panginoon na yung mga bagay na yun, ipasa kanya mo, ipag-pray, ganun. Tapos magkakaroon na rin ng calm yun sa... Ako kasi kapag ka ganun na pinag-pray ko yung bagay na yun, biglang nagkakaroon ng calm sa akin na, ano eh, na bigla kong, biglang nagiging okay yung pakiramdam ko. Na pakiramdam ko ano, magiging okay din lahat. Kahit na ganito yung situation ko sa gantong... Sa, ngayon, ganito yung situation ko. Naniniwala ko na after these storms, ganyan, mag... Uh, may mangyaring maganda sa akin. At yung mga nangyari sa'yo during that time na nagiging uh, parang negative yung nangyari, magiging strength mo siya in the future. So, yun. Okay, so thank you so much. Um, let's ask um, Bea uh, about the question. Okay, so what yes, do you so, usually do? 
Ayan, so, when it comes to planning, there are times that, ano, hindi ko talaga nasusunod yung schedule ko. Kahit na ako mismo yung nagsulat nun. And, sobrang nakaka-stress yun, especially kung yung deadline, one day before or two days before na. Bi- and, so, ginagawa ko dun is, patulad ng sinabi nila, I pray, I go to God first before scheduling again. Kasi prayer mm-hmm. for me is my go-to way whenever um, there is, um, where I'm, wherever I am in, where I'm, wherever I am um, experiencing, experiencing anxiety. And kasi di ba meron din tayong um, Bible verse in Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7, na it tells us na we shouldn't worry and we should be in prayer and put everything into the Lord. And yun po. Nakakalma siya sa akin. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay, so, I remember also a quotation from the book. Um, Sabi doon, if we worry, we are, it's like we're saying God can't. So, it's very important to not to worry kasi God can do impossible things to be possible, right? And we all know that God is a great God, right? So, I hope that we will not forget that, that whatever things that we are anxious about, God is ahead of us. I think, uh, Brother um, AJ has something AJ, to say. AJ, yes. Yes, uh, regarding doon sa question, uh, unang-unang na siguro natin kailangan malaman na uh, mahilig tayo sa instant, eh. no? instant mm-hmm. solution instant uh, andyan na agad, no? Kumbaga, that's how we condition ourselves. Siguro the main problem here is our conditioning. Uh, yung preconditioning ng ating utak. Yung preconditioning ng ating spirituality. Because mm-hmm. the fact that we are anticipating of what lies in the future, para bagang pinapangunahan mo yung Panginoon. Pinapangunahan mo yung mangyayari sa'yo, no? Para bang uh, parang kami sa law school, no? Ikaw, siguro na-experience mo rin. Na merong times na one week pa, before pa lang ng klase, nandun na yung struggle mo, nandun pa rin takot mo na magre-recite ka, nandun na yung takot mo. When in fact, wala pa yon in the reality. No? Mm-hmm. Sabi nga ng Luke 12 verses 25 and 26, Worrying is a waste of time. Sabi nga dito. Yeah. And besides, what's the use of worrying? What good does it do? Will it add a single day to your life? Mm-hmm. Of course not. And if worry can't even do such a little things as that, what's the use of worrying over bigger things? No? Masyado tayong no, overwhelm eh. No? Lagi nating piled up ang mga bagay-bagay na wala pa in reality. So the first thing that we must understand is that we must precondition our minds, our spirituality, our faith, our condition. Secondly, kailangan malaman mo na worrying ahead of time is a waste of time. You should have made use of that time to be productive. No? Kaya nga preparation is the key in everything. Kailang i-prepare mo yung sarili mo kasi not unless you prepared, you will never be prepared for what is to come. Ayan. Okay, so thank you so much for that. Um, Hannah dear, do you have something to say? Hana? Okay, so... Okay, so... Gaya, uh, ah, sige. So, gaya nga nung um, sabi ni Brother AJ, preparation is the key. Diba? So, parang in that way, hindi ka na mag, uh, magiging anxious in the future. Pero still, there are some things mm-hmm. na hindi naman talaga so, tayo prepared. magiging prepared ever. Yeah. yeah. Pero still, um, ang, ang solution pa rin is to depend on Him. And like, isuko mo na lahat sa Kanya. Lord, iyong iyon na to lahat. So in that mm. way, parang mas magiging magaan yung kargahin mo kasi ibinigay mo na sa Kanya. So yeah. So let's move on to the third um, question. Or baka may additional pa yung mga audience natin. Anything, any input po, go lang.
Brother Nerwin, baka meron ka rin <laughs> input. <laughs> Okay, let's proceed na. So, um, for our next question is, ano naman yung ma-advise mo sa mga taong sa ngayon is nalulunod sa stress and anxiety nila? So, ano yung mga suggestions nyo and advice na maibibigay nyo sa kanila? So, unahin natin si Kuya Megs. Ayan. So, now na let. Uh, actually, yung gusto so pong i let's say to impart sa aking ano fellow youth especially uh, that to everyone actually not only the youth but to every single person no, na naka-experience ng stress eh, siguro two parts ng akin una yung sa practical side and so this a practical side that's why it's very important to ano again we are um, humans na meron tayong iba-ibang aspects we have a uh, physical mental may social nga tayo, or, um, yeah, social, emotional, and most especially yung ating spiritual. Ngayon, these things, magkaasama yan. May ma-impair na isa dyan, apektado lahat. So, we have to be, ano, um, siguro sa practical nga, uh, yung, 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 di ba sabi nga, pinag-usapan natin, ano yung magagawa ko? What's my part, di ba? And that is to care for our bodies. So, we have to make sure yung nga, um, dito po pasok eh, yung habits na din develop po. Let's say, um, you have that habit of yung nga, indulging in unhealthy foods. Kahit sabihin natin, di ba, as Adventists, we have, um, alam natin kung ano yung clean and clean. How about dun sa mga clean naman, let's say, for example, clean no foods, or let's say, how about sugars, di ba? They are, hindi naman sila defiled. But in excess, di ba, they would be um, detrimental sa ating health. So, yun yung ano, papasok na, we have to, be careful doon sa ating ano. Kasi I, I tell you, um, ako po, uh, na-experience ko siya. May times na naging unhealthy rin yung choices ko. And doon din, affected din the way that I think, the way na I handle certain situations. So, ayun. And I believe may mga certain, ano nga eh, foods na, or let's say mga, um, yeah, foods in general, na pwedeng makapag, ano, makapag-trigger ng stresses na yun. Or let's say, madali ka mag-worry, madali ka maging anxious because of um a certain ano and din din yung sa mga exercise nga di ba um i think may nabasa about sa studies when, when it regards to having you know regular exercises let's say for example jogging and ano yung kumpara sa circulation na blood circulation natin very important and in which syempre di ba yung processes din ng mind natin ay um we need ano oxygenated blood so pag maganda yung blood circulation mas okay din tayo mag-isip. So, yun nga, minsan, ano, uh, we can get rid of those um, things na hindi sana magkakos sa atin ng stress or anxiety. So, yun, yung very important. And then, doon naman sa second part, dito na pumapasok yung ano, um, spiritual aspects. Pero, um, especially doon nga sa part na hindi natin makakontrol. Kasi we need, this is the reality, my dear friends, na uh, mayroong mga bagay that is beyond what humans can do. That's, yung may mga times na kailangan natin yung, yung Panginoon talaga. So, I would like to share with you yung verse na sa Psalm 61. Psalm 61 for uh, sa verse 2 and 3, sabi nga, for, um, From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee, when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Verse 3, For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. So, we need to be like that. Whenever nandun tayo sa point na I just don't know what to do. I just can't seem to ano, to move on kung saan um, situation na meron ka. That's when you will call, call unto the Lord. Talagang, and this, my dear friends, um, we cannot, ano, um, parang minsan sabi natin, ang dami ko nang ginawang kasasalanan masyado, parang ang hirap na lumapit sa Panginoon. No. That's the time when you should be coming unto Him. And then nga, nag, minsan nagpapatong-patong na the weight of sin, the weight of those stresses na na ano, natin. That's when we, we are to call unto Him. And whenever, yung, speaking about prayers, kasi napanggit yung kanina yun ni, um, ni Sister Vea, kung hindi ako nakaamali, na yun nga, no, um, we have to be ano, um, honest with the Lord. Yung talaga maging open tayo, maging vulnerable tayo sa Kanya. In His presence, parang 
we in a casting all our cares upon him for he cares for us in the sense of the bible so take ano let's uh, treat the lord as if he is a father to us kasi ba nang tinuruan ni jesus yung kanya mga disciples how to pray our father who art in heaven di ba so as if di ba talagang talagang siya yung tatay mo and th- th- that's when you uh, you can say unto him everything na ano syempre nandoon pa rin yung reverence pero you can talk to him as a friend or di ba as and of course he's also a god yung, yung maganda doon eh kaya may peace of mind na meron tayong mata- na makukuha kasi alam natin na kahit anong pinagdadaanan natin and lastly siguro share ko sa inyo uh, Philippians chapter 4 so the same um chapter yung kanina si Nerni si Surveya So sa Philippians chapter 4 and I think a familiar din sa inyo to sa so verse um 12 mag-start tayo. I sorry. Verse 11. Not that I um not that I speak in respect of one for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Verse 12. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Verse thirteen, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So, itong verse na ito, especially sa verse thirteen, nagin natin na tinig. So, di ba? Parang minsan ginagamit lang ba natin to kapag nandun tayo sa part na yun nga about mga competition or whatsoever or let's say sa Um, board exam or my exams or whatsoever. Pero ang tinuturo sa atin doon is sa lahat ng situation, there has to be in a Christ na kasama natin. Kaya if we are really to take that ano as our own, na masasabi din natin that I can do all things through Christ to strengthen me. So we sabi doon sa kahit anong situation na andun ka, talagang if you are with Him, talagang makakayanan mo. Makakayanan mo. So yun lang, ano, have courage, my dear friends. And yun nga, huwag tayong, ano, huwag tayong mawala ng pag-asa. Kasi, yun nga, again, the Lord is faithful, indeed. Yes, um, ang ganda din na point nun, nung, um, kapag yung nalulunod ka na sa problema, na parang, hindi mo na kaya, like, ayoko na, gusto ko na lang mag-give up. Ganon. So, parang, Lagi nating i-keep in mind. Bumalik tayo sa verse na yon na I can do everything to Christ which who strengthen me. So parang uh, ang ganda lang i-keep in mind na uh, oo, oh, oh, hindi ko kaya mag-isa pero hindi naman ako mag-isa kasi alam kong kasama ko siya. Kasi alam ko na sa lowest part natin, sa lowest point ng buhay natin, alam kong iniisip lagi natin na wala sa atin si God na hindi natin siya kasama. Pero hindi natin nare-realize na mas malapit siya sa atin sa ganong instances. So parang um, let's keep in mind na kahit sobrang lungkot na natin, huwag nating isipin na mag-isa tayo kasi alam, kasi isipin natin na kinikerry tayo ni God. So dear, Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, let's proceed to Ati Kia. Uh, the third question, what can you advise to people who are experiencing stress? Ayan, hello. Siguro kung yung, ano, yung sa in terms ng work and school nila, Siguro iwasan yung pag-procrastinate kasi 'di ba parang lagi nating ano yung mamaya na mamaya na dapat uh, lagi tayong magano magplan ahead of time sa mga gagawin natin para maiwasan yung maiwasan yung uh, binabagsak natin lahat ng gawain sa limited time. Tsaka uh, alamin natin yung sarili natin dapat alam natin ko ano lang yung kaya natin tsaka wag natin ipilit kung alam naman natin hindi kaya sa araw na yon or hindi natin talaga kaya in terms of ano uh, capability parang ganun wag nating ipilit kasi uh, doon nagsisimula na mag ano kay ma, ma mainis ka sa sarili mo kasi 
hindi mo nagagawa yung bagay na yon And, syempre, spiritually, dapat mas maging uh, uh, dependent sa Panginoon. Dapat, uh, every time na mag-start ka ng araw mo, uh, hi, uh, humingi dapat agad ng um, guidance sa Kanya. And, every, kahit na noong araw na yun, hindi ka na-stress, dapat every day, uh, every time na ganun, na, may, na sa buhay mo lagi nangihingi ng guidance sa Kanya. And, um, Um, yung sa anong yung Hello. No wala ata si Ate Kia. Okay, so uh, I'd like to point out lang, no? It's very important din talaga to discipline ourselves and to what? To uh, manage our time properly. Yun yung gusto din i-emphasize ni Kia. For us, what? To prevent um stress ahead of us. So, Hannah, do you have something to say? Uh, let's proceed na muna to Bea. To Bea. Ayun, so, copy-paste, charot. Ako, ano, I'm no expert in handling anxiety myself, but all I can say is that you should put your trust in the Lord for He knows what is best for us and He um, he will give you what you deserve. Ayun lang. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, so, Hannah? Yes, yeah, so, Actually, ang may advice ko, Char, ang may advice ko is marami naman tayong ways to handle or to treat anxiety and stress. Una-una doon is yung pinupoint out nga natin na um, stress management na uh, mm-hmm. we have, huwag tayo mag-procrastinate, na iwasan natin yung potential trigger if we have if may magagawa tayo sa trigger na yon, gawin na natin ahead of time para hindi tayo like biglang salubungin ng boom, stress. Alam mo yun, hindi ka mataranta. So, one, yun nga, eh, we should learn to manage our stress. Um, one thing then is para malesen yung anxiety is parang magkaroon tayo ng relaxation na uh, exercises. Um, ano ba yung mga relaxation exercises? For example, med- med- uh, meditation, yung prayer, actually, it helps. And also, yung mag-rest ka lang si- sa isang lugar kung saan comfy ka. Tapos, like, don't mind the world. Like, relax ka lang, ganun. And also, yung pinaka, for me, pinaka-effective is yung magkaroon tayo ng strong na support system. So, ano nga ba yung support system? Yun yung mga tao na nandyan lagi para sa'yo. Kasi, once you have a strong um, support system, parang lagi, hindi lang, hindi lang sa stress, hindi lang sa anxiety, sila nandyan para sa'yo. Actually, lagi silang nandyan kahit masaya ka, kahit malungkot ka, in sickness, in health, ganon. Did that do us part? chart. So yun, parang once you have that someone na um, alam mong rely, marirely mo, either your family, your friends, your special someone, your husband or your wife, just someone na will get, will get you back at your feet when you fall down. Parang ganun. Parang that's, that's um, a nice and strong support system na kapag down na down ka, lalapit sila sa inyo, sa iyo na sabihin niya sa iyo kaya mo 'yan. Nandito kami para sa iyo and don't rush. Parang when you ha- pag mayroon kang karamay, parang mas mafi-feel mo na ah oo, meron meron akong mama, meron akong papa na kahit ganito, kahit ganito akong klasing tao, alam kong tatanggapin nila ako. Yung mga ganung klasing tao. So Parang it helps, it helps you as a person na mag-grow din. 
kasama nila. So, dear, ano bang iyong um, maia-advise? Okay, so, um, after me, I'd like to ask um, Brother AJ, kasi alam kong madami din siyang wisdom about this. Okay, so, um, before I give to you my personal advice on how to cope up with stress, um, I'd like to share to you na alam ni dear yan na I'm a person who is very anxious, like since college or ano ba? Pero ngayon medyo okay naman na. <laughs> okay, so, um, I am very strict with myself. Kung si, at si Bea ay my planner, ako din ay my, my planner din. And ayoko na walang highlight yung mga planners ko, uh, yung mga lista ko for the day. Kailangan yun ay nakamark na na done. Wow, well, something ganun. So, I have to, ganun ako ka-strict, super strict with myself. And siguro, if you are a person who is like me, we have to evaluate ourselves. But nga ba, we are anxious. Even though you are a player warrior, you are a good student naman, um, parang you prepare naman for something, why is it that you are anxious person? Ito let uh, evaluate ourselves. Maybe because of our personality, ako personally, I'm a very choleric, at the same time, a melancholic person. That's why I overthink a lot and I am anxious with everything. Masyadong perfectionist. I'm afraid of failure and so on. That's why I'm anxious. It's a personality. We can consider that as a reason why we are anxious. Also, um, uh, very common to the eldest um child, the boss, pag eldest, right? Hannah dear, um, uh, masada din yung bossy, masada din yung yes, ano in yes. life. So, <laughs> that's why, siguro, nakadagdag din sa factor why I am very anxious person. Okay, so, yun, maybe uh, based on birth order or your personality, but above all, um, in times of stress, I wait lang. On how I cope up with stress pala, um, aside from praying, um, reading my Bible, I usually go to what? My comfort food, my ice cream. Pag stress ako, ice cream and sleep is <laughs> very important, very essential in my life. Okay, so, uh, we have different kinds of uh, coping strategies, but let's not forget to seek Jesus. Matthew 6.33, I know that this verse is very common. Seek Him, and all these things shall be added unto you. And another thing, um, let's evaluate ourselves in times of difficulties. Um, if Jesus is here, ano kaya yung kanyang gagawin? And how... Uh, Jesus will handle things. Now let's imitate God's ways on how He handles things, um, especially when He was here on earth. Like imitate His ways on how He handles pressure, stress in life. And then one thing, seek Him and then ask for His wisdom. I know Jesus is not madamo to give wisdom to us. So God is a God of um Possible things to happen. Uh, he makes impossible to possible. So, ask for his wisdom. Okay, so, uh, yun lang ang aking ma share. I'd like to ask Brother AJ on your idea. What can you give? What advice you can give to people who are experiencing, experiencing stress and anxiety? Thank you. Uh, it's a good thing na meron tayong iba't ibang uh, nakuhang respondent regarding this matter dahil oo, hindi tayo pare-parehas lahat ng scenario. Iba-iba yung ways natin ng coping up. But the good thing there, gusto ko pagsamahin sinabi ni Hannah at saka ni Eden, ni Eden, na let's look upon Jesus. No? Gusto kong example dito how Jesus cope up with stress is yung nandun siya sa Garden of Gethsemane. You know, yung ilang hours na lang na mamamatay na siya. Yung ilang hours na lang makikita niya yung mga tao na papatayin siya. Yung taong pinagsilbihan niya, yung mga taong minahal niya, yung mga taong pinunta niya, sinadya niya dito sa mundo. Grabe yung stress noon, I tell you. And even, sinabi nga ng commentaries that Jesus even bled uh, tears na kulay dugo. No? So sobrang stress noon. What Jesus did is, una, he prayed. It's a very good example how to cope up with stress is to pray. 
And secondly, he didn't pray alone. He prayed with his three core group. Sino yun? Si Peter, si James, and John. But make sure naman yung core group nyo knows how to help you. <laughs> Hindi yung tutulugan kayo. <laughs> ano? Yung time na kailangan na kailangan ni Jesus Christ ng helper, they're not there. They just left no? soundly. Kaya gusto ko yung pinagsama ko yung kay Eden at kay Hannah. You need a core group, a support group. And you need God above all else. Actually, you're, you're human eh. You're a social being. Hindi mo lang basa-basa pwede i... Diba? Sabi nga ng maraming surveys. A lot of uh, suicidal attempts came from being alone. A lot of possessions come from being alone. <laughs> no? Pag lalo mo sinasarili yung mga bagay-bagay, yung tipong ikaw lang, Doon ka nakakaisip ng mga sasamang bagay. Doon ka nakikisip ng mga bagay. Nagiging vulnerable ka. But when you find someone you can rely on, which is God, and when you can find someone to be with you along the way, with your parents maybe, your spouse, your partner, or uh, your friends, that would be of a great help. So, these things na sinasabi po namin, uh, we don't limit uh, the possible answers in coping up stress. But we're just giving up. We're giving out uh, our own personal experiences in coping up stress. So it's up to you, sa mga nakikinig po namin mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, to uh, uh, choose among of these kung ano yung maging effective and efficient. Thank you. Ayan, thank you sa... Uh, napakagandang input, Brother AJ. So, let's uh, conclude all of it, Sister Dear. <laughs> Ako pala yung conclusion. Okay, so, I'd like to read from Joshua 1.9. Um, be strong. I Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Um, uh, we become anxious. We are not feeling nothing. We are very um, not in control of everything, right? But let's not be afraid. Let's not be anxious because God will always be with us. Okay, so thank you so much for your participation and thank you so much for the invitation to be with you this um afternoon i hope that you uh, are all blessed because uh, for us personally we are all blessed by the discussion this afternoon good afternoon and happy sabbath yeah.